Happy is he who understands the mysteries of love. You know what, Chuck? I don't understand love. Well, who does? Explain love to me, Chuck. You can't explain love. I can recommend a book or a painting or a poem, but I can't explain love. Try, Chuck. Try. Well, say I happen to see this cute little girl walk by, and I... Why does she have to be cute, huh? Can't someone fall in love with a girl who isn't cute and has freckles and a big nose? Explain that, Chuck! Well, maybe you're right. Let's just say, then, that I happen to see this girl walk by who has a great big nose and... I didn't say a great big nose! You not only can't explain love, actually, you can't even talk about it. <laughs> You know, you're pretty lucky, Schroeder. Did Beethoven ever have a girl who brought flowers for his piano? No, Beethoven never had a girl who bugged him by bringing flowers for his piano. It isn't exactly what I asked. The gift of a flower is always a gift of love. How about accepting a flower? Accepting can mean love, too. But it doesn't necessarily have to. Sometimes you have to accept a flower just to keep from hurting the other person's feelings. Then I'll accept it. What does taking it back mean? It can mean any stupid thing you want it to mean. Never see anything. Mm hmm. I see. Say what? To whom? I always wanted to go up to that little red haired girl and talk to her. But I just couldn't. Because I was such a nothing and she was something. If she had wanted to talk to me, it would have been easy. Because someone who is really something can just go right up to someone who is nothing and just talk. I think your problem is mathematical, Charlie Brown. Mathematical? Hmm. If you add nothing and something, what do you get? Well, something, I guess. Right. Now, if you subtract nothing from something, what do you get? Still something. Very good. Now, if you multiply something by nothing, what do you get? Nothing. Five cents, please. When you're a nothing, you have a hard time understanding anything. How can 
can you forget all the happy times we had together? We never had any happy times together. <laughs> we didn't? I forgot. <sighs> I dread getting old, Schroeder. Will you love me when I'm old and crabby? You don't have to be crabby, you know. But it's hard to change. Not if you changed gradually. You could be nice in the morning and crabby in the afternoon. But I'd still be old all day. Will you love me when I'm old and gray? If I don't love you now, how can I love you when you're old and gray? <laughs> we'll see! <sighs> but Lucy, how can I love you when... Because I'll be a sweet old lady! Schroeder, do you think it's possible that I'm your favorite person in the whole wide world? <laughs> Here's something to think about. Picture this, if you will. You and I are a newly married couple, see? And you have been invited to Moscow to participate in a piano competition. You perform brilliantly, but you lose. When you are asked to say a few words to the press, you are extremely gracious. I don't mind losing, you say, because after all, I have just married the most wonderful girl in the world and she will always be my prize. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm a stand-up comic. 